Hello everybody, hello to for life here bringing you guys a brand new video and today <clears throat> Oh my god, so last night after the arm dragon support was revealed we got two new <laughs> or well not two new archetypes but two new ways to support for archetypes that I honestly never thought were gonna get support <laughs> Wind Witches and Fabled This is crazy I I honestly never thought that either of these would get support anymore at this point because it kind of felt like forgotten archetypes in terms of, you know, Konami and everything. Especially Wind Witches since they were less known for being an archetype and more well known for being an engine. Um, and I already can tell that the meta people, uh, you know, the people who only focus on the meta, they're going to be, okay, how can this support the engine, not the archetype? And uh, in terms of the archetype, this new support is pretty darn good for the archetype. Uh, will it revitalize the Wind Witch engine and make the engine popular again? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest. Uh, there's just better things you can do. Uh, but, however, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, first and foremost, we got Wind Witch Blizzard Bell. She's a level 5 uh, Wind Spellcaster Tuner. Yeah, level 5 Tuner. You don't see that often. 1800 attack, 1800 defense. You can only use the second effect to discard its name once per turn. If you control no monsters or all monsters you control are Wind Witch monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. During your opponent's main phase, if you control a Wind Witch monster other than Wind Witch Blizzard Bell, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Now, this kind of ties in with what Wind Witches are all about. And if you've never played the archetype, you might not know, but Wind Witches are all about burn damage. If you look at the archetype, it's just crazy with how much burn damage they are all about. You know, Ice Bell does damage whenever she is summoned. Winter Bell uh, does be uh, effect damage as well by targeting a Wind Witch and then doing damage equal to its level. And Crystal Bell is able to copy the effect of another Wind Witch, uh, so like for instance copying Winter Bell to do the same damage again except targeting Winter Bell who's a bigger level. So you can do all sorts of burn damage. It's not like a huge amount but that's kind of the whole focus is just kind of death by a thousand cuts um, with the burn damage. I do like how this new one, Blizzard Bell, looks similar to the Synchros, because I guess it's closer to the Synchros in terms of its like level and everything. It also does look like just kind of a bigger Snow Bell, which is kind of cool as well. So, pretty artwork here. <laughs> I like it. Moving on, we got Wind Witch Freeze Bell, who looks like the other Wind Witches, except a uh, different hair color. That's kind of the thing with the Wind Witches, is they all look alike, except different hair colors and stuff. Um... So this is Wind Witch Freeze Bell. Level 3 Wind Spellcaster Effect Monster. Not a tuner, which is really, really interesting. Uh, you can only use, because, I mean, all the, I mean, what, like, we got... Oh, I could have sworn Wind Witch Ice Spell was a tuner. That's right, okay. Yeah, that's right, Glass Bell is the tuner. Snow Bell is also a tuner. So, yeah, okay, it's not surprising that Freeze Bell is not a tuner. So Freeze Bell, you only use each of her effects once per turn. She's level 3, 12, 12. Uh, if all monsters, uh, sorry, you can only use her first effect once per turn. Okay, so that's a hard once per turn. So if all monsters you control are one witch monsters, a minimum of one, you can spell summon this card from your hand. Pretty easy to cheese her out then. Uh, once per turn, you can increase this card's level by one, which is pretty cool and allows for some level modulation and goes for some more synchro plays. And then a wind synchro monster that was synchro summoned using this card as synchro material cannot be destroyed by battle. Which is really good because then, if you tie that in with Snowbell, makes it to where the synchro monster uh, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, let's say you use Ice Bell's effect to spell summon her, and then summon Freeze Bell from deck, and then um, you use, I don't know, uh, Ice Bell's, sorry, no, Freeze Bell's effect to increase her level. Uh, to four, and then you spell some Snowbell from your hand, uh, and then you Synchro for eight, because you can do that now for their new boss monster, Wind Witch Diamond Bell, who, oh my god, I love this artwork. <laughs> it looks so cool. Like, it, it just kind of reminds me of Falcana for some reason. If you don't know who Falcana is, play Monster Hunter. It's wonderful. Um, but, like, the ice everywhere, and it's, just love it. <laughs> so, Diamond Bell. Level 8 Wind Synchro, uh, Wind Spellcaster Synchro Effect Monster. So if you were to do what I just said you could do, uh, you would have a 
Level 8, um, 2800, 2400 uh, synchro that can't be killed by battle or card effects. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, if only there was a way to do that with Crystal Wing. Oh my god, that would be that would be perfect. Anyway, so, you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is synchro summon, you can target a one witch monster in graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack. Now, typically speaking, this isn't going to be much. But if you have Crystal Bell or Winter Bell in the graveyard somehow, you're going to be able to do either 14 or 12. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then, uh, once per turn, if your opponent takes battle or effect damage, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. If this card is Synchro Summon using only Wind Witch Monsters as material, you can activate this effect up to twice per turn. This is really good. And that ties in with Blizzard Bell, because now on top of the burn damage you're doing, you're also going to be able to, uh, well, destroy cards. So personally, I would almost never use Blizzard Bell as a synchro monster, uh, like synchro material. I'd try to always keep her in my hand, because then um, you can discard her during your opponent's turn and be able to do some burn damage and stuff. Uh, and then if you can get out a good old uh, Winter Bell alongside uh, Diamond Bell, you can... Uh, no, uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, it depends. Because uh, her effect is during the battle phase, you can target a monster and special summon it. There needs to be more ways to trigger that burn damage during your opponent's turn, and I don't see that being a super easy thing right now, um, other than with uh, Dodo Blizzard Bell. Anyway, so Chime of the Wind Witch, this is their first spell card. This deck never had spells or traps before. <laughs> uh, you can only activate one card to this card's name per turn. You cannot spell summon monsters to turn you activate this card except Wind Monsters. Target a Wind Witch monster you control. Spell summon one Wind Witch monster of a different name from that monster uh, face up uh, from that from that face up monster from your deck in defense position. Sorry, I've only been awake for like 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time, so. You target a Wind Witch, spell summon another one from your deck with, in defense, which has a different name than the original. So, let's say you do the standard Wind Witch play, a spell summoning Ice Spell, Ice Spell, spell summoning Glass Spell, Glass Spell searching out um, Snow Bell, and then you can activate this to target your, I don't know, any of these three. And then you can summon out good old Freeze Bell. And then you still have it normal summon, so you can normal summon another one, like for instance Blizzard Bell. And then you can go for both Wind Witch, Winter Bell, and uh, Diamond Bell in one turn. Or go for Crystal Wing and Diamond Bell, I think is what you could actually do with that as well. It'd be interesting to see. So you could easily get out two Synchros, is what I'm trying to say. And then we got Ice Winds Reflame, which probably has my favorite artwork in this uh, whole like new set of the uh, of the um, Wind Witches. Ice Winds Refrain, uh, Frain, normal trap card. You can only fit one of this card's. Uh, uh, you can only fit one card of this card's name per turn. God, activate one of these effects. Target a one witch monster in graveyard. Spell summon it in defense position. Or when your opponent activates a card or effect in response to the activation of a one witch monster effect, negate that opponent's effect. This is really interesting. So you can either use it as a monster born. Or if your opponent like says like Ass Blossom um, in response to like Wind Witch um, Ice Spell or something, you can negate it, which is pretty cool. I like this. Gives it versatility and allows it to be usable in more than one situation, which is pretty handy. Now then, moving on, let's take a look at the new Fabled stuff. Now Fabled, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have as much um, experience with whenever I, like compared to Wind Witch. I have tinkered around with them in the past, but it's been a long while uh let's see here yeah the last time i've really messed around with them uh was when we still knew nightmares as troy mare huh. <laughs> uh that is uh that's been a while but anyway so this is a fabled marcheros um, marchosia he's a level four light fiend effect monster 1700 attack zero defense you can only use this card's first and second effects so once per turn each if this card is in your hand, you can discard one or two monsters except Fabled Marchosia, but you must discard at least one Fabled monster. And if you do, spell summon this card. And if you do that, this card gains 200 attack for each monster you discarded with this effect. If this card is discarded at the graveyard, add a Fabled Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Which, if I'm not mistaken, before this, Fabled actually did not have any. Um, now, if you don't know how Fabled work, they're kind of like Dark World. They like to discard stuff. 
Uh, but however, unlike Dark World, they will get their effects off for being discarded by cost. It, it's so weird um, because of how everything's set up. Yeah, they didn't have any spell or trap cards before this. And sure enough, we got a field spell and a trap. <laughs> so it took them, what, like 10 years to get a spell or trap card? Um, that's crazy. But hey, now they finally do. And if I remember right, the field spell and the trap aren't half bad. It's been a while since I, I read these when I was half asleep last night. So... <laughs> Next up, we got the Fabled uh, Afnik. Afink. Uh, okay. Uh, level 2 Light Beast. Uh, tuner Effect Monster. 1,000 attack, 600 defense. You only use this card's name, effect once per turn. And if he's discarded at a graveyard, you can discard a Fabled Monster. And if you do, spell summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Yeah, that's pretty standard for the Fabled Tuners. Like, all of them have it. So, like, Ganeshia. Oh, he's discarded. Special summon it. Uh. Kuz, special summon another one. Uh, Cerberal, special summon it. <laughs> you know, uh, it's pretty standard uh, for what Fabled want to do. So that's pretty cool. You got another tuner to play around with. And he's a beast, which can be helpful too in certain situations. Pretty neat. Then we got a new synchro for the deck. A level 6 fiend synchro monster. A light. Uh, really cool looking archetype. I mean, art is what I meant to say. Uh, really cool looking art. Synchro Materials, one Fabled Tuner, plus one or more non-tuner monsters. You can only use this card's names, first and second effects, once per turn each. If this card is special summoned, you can activate this effect. Your opponent can discard one card to negate this effect, otherwise you draw two cards and discard one card. So, I'm going to say straight up, there should be no, your opponent can discard one card to negate this effect, because we have a Synchro that does the exact same thing, except he just lets you draw two. Uh, which is Reagan, and actually Reagan only triggers if you have one or less cards in your hand, and he lets you draw until you have two in your hand. So I guess uh, it does kind of make sense to make it to where uh, your opponent can discard and negate it, and it ties in with his second effect. But still, like I, I mean, for what Fable would want to do, you really want to draw two and discard one, and of course your opponent's just going to discard and negate that. Like of course they're going to. And then they'll probably discard like a dark, well, no, my luck, I'd be doing against Dark World, and they'd be like, okay, I'll discard my Grafa and steal a monster out of your hand, huh? <laughs> but that, that'd just be my luck. Anyways, realistically, it'd probably be like a danger monster or something. Anyway, so, two, if a monster or monsters is sent from your opponent's hand into a graveyard, you can target one of those monsters, spell summon it to your field, but negate its effects. So, that does put your opponent in a pretty uh, risky scenario. Sure, they can discard a card and negate this effect to let you, for you to draw two and discard one. But if all they have is monsters in their hand, you're going to get to steal that monster. Uh, but they'd also prevent you from drawing two and discarding one, which is something this deck really, really wants. <laughs> so it's going to put your opponent in a very uh, precarious scenario in that. Uh, in that they're going to actually have to think rather than just go, okay, I'll discard. <laughs> so yeah. He is a pretty cool card, though, and I definitely think he'll help out with the Synchro Climbing. Next up, we got the Field Spell, Stairway to the Fabled World, which uh, looks like... Huh. I don't know what's going on over here. It kind of looks like they're going to the Dark World world. Um, but yeah, that's a gateway to hell for sure. <laughs> um, stairway to the Fabled World. You can only activate one card with this name's per turn. Wait, one card of this card's name per turn. Okay. You can only use the second effect once per turn. When this card resolves, you can send one Fabled Monster from your deck to the graveyard. So they got a Fool's Burial, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can target one Fabled Monster in your graveyard, discard two cards, and if you do, add the targeted monster to your hand, which is pretty handy. Uh, you can get a dude back to your hand, and you can discard some more Fabled's to trigger their effects, to either special summon themselves, or like search, or something else. During damage calculation, if your Fabled Monster is attacking an opponent's monster and you have fewer cards in your hand than your opponent, your attacking Fabled Monster gains attack equal to your current hand size deficit times 200 during that damage calculation only. So basically, if you have no cards in your hand and you're attacking an opponent's monster and they have 5 cards in their hand, your monster is going to gain 1,000 attack points. Which is pretty cool because then, well, your Fabled can try and attack over it. Fabled's aren't exactly the beefiest things out there, but their synchros could really hand, uh, could really use it, um, especially Unicorn, since Unicorn is like the main one you want to get out, uh, since he negates everything. Granted, though, uh, Unicorn benefits from you and your opponent having the same number of cards in hand, so it's not really particularly helpful in that scenario. Um, 
definitely helpful for some of the others, but I mean, more than likely, you're not even going to keep a fabled synchro monster around. You're going to synchro for, like, Crystal Wing or something. Next up, we got Fabled Regicide, <coughs> which, um, I mean, it looks like the this the new dude is, like, rebelling against the Vife, and um, I have no idea what Regicide means. What, let's Google that real quick. Regicide, come on. Anyway, so, while I'm waiting for my phone to load, uh, it's a normal trap card. You can only activate one card of this uh, card's name per turn. Target a fabled monster in your graveyard and one face-up card on the field. Discard one card, and if you do, spell summon the target monster in your graveyard, and if you do that, destroy the targeted card on the field. So basically, it lets you <clears throat> special summon, discard, to trigger effect, and also get rid of a monster that your opponent controls, or any card. Um, because it's any face-up card, so you can get rid of your opponent's field spell or something. Now, what does Regicide? Oh, Regicide is the action of killing a king. Okay. <laughs> I, I should have been able to infer that, but again, I'm all, like, half asleep. <laughs> <clears throat> so, overall, this new stuff, I mean, like, I don't think it's going to be enough to make, like, Fabled, uh, you know, tier one or anything like that. I don't think the same thing for uh, good old Wind Witches. After testing out uh, <laughs> Arm Dragon, I definitely do not think that they're at where they really could be. Then again, I am trying out some very wacky things with Arm Dragon, but um, yeah, I feel like that these are really good improvements to their archetypes, but Wind Witches need a bit more because they really didn't have much to begin with. Uh, Fabled could really benefit from having more spells and traps, uh, just to be 100% honest. And maybe another new Synchro, because, I mean, Andre here is cool, but they could really use another boss monster, because the main Fabled boss monster, the Viathan, is just super meh. He doesn't do anything on the field. Whenever you Synchro summon him, he's basically just a 3k beater. Um, but if he dies, you can add 3 of your Fabled back to your hand, um, which is cool and all, but, like... Why? Why does he not do anything on the field? That's like more of a supplementary effect to a main effect. Um, heck, that makes it to where Valkyrius is like the real fabled boss monster. Because he can discard a fiend to let you draw a card. Which is really good for fabled. Like, they want to make this guy super quick. Um, and I think Andrafe is going to help make him a bit easier because with Andrafe, you have a 6 now. And now you can synchro up in Andrafe. And then Synchro using Andrafe with, like, um, Kesa for some of your other level 2 Sooners, uh, mostly Cerbero, into, uh, Fakirius to be able to make him a bit easier. So, that's just kind of my opinion. Uh, next up, guys, I got the video talking about Live Twins, Evil Twins, finally. That'll probably be out, uh, <clears throat> tomorrow or something. And then I have a new archetype analysis that will be coming soon. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And see you all later. Peace out. Thank you all for watching the video. Have a great day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And see you all later.